Let's talk about my creativity. I don't consider myself artsy. My name is Liz and I am not creative. I have absolutely atrocious handwriting. Every card that I've ever written has pretty much been illegible. I can barely dress myself, let alone, I don't know, paint or anything like that. To be honest, I'm not feeling quite creative. I'm nervous about it being bad. Um, it's difficult to fight the urge to be perfect. I have a three and a half year old son who is unbelievably energetic. I don't get to really spend time doing anything creative until about 10 or 10.30 at night. I don't really do anything consistently one hour a day. It might just, you know, make me a bit of a happier person. My job is very high pressure. Every move I make counts. I like to get things right and do things well. So with abstract painting, I felt like there were no rules. I was completely anxious and ready to throw up. I tried to stay away from painting in any form. I didn't think I could do it. I was pretty nervous about trying calligraphy. In middle school, not getting into art club pushed me in, in other directions, so I, I focused more on sports. These sort of distinct clubs, you're an art club person, oh, you're, you run cross country, you do field hockey. That really puts people in a specific group. Doing this was definitely a challenge. This got even more tangled. This first painting I made, I don't like it. If I were to give that first painting a name, it would probably be Gah! Maybe this just is not for me. I considered just quitting, dropping out. I didn't quit because I made a commitment to myself that I would get through it. It's been hard to set aside this one hour, but on the flip side, I always feel a lot more relaxed afterwards. The mindset I was trying to get into is the mindset I try to get into when I do yoga, where I'm trying to not think about anything but what I'm doing in the moment. I totally lost track of time, really focusing on the movement and the fluidity. So it was about the middle of the week when I actually finished a couple of pieces. And when I came off of one of those paintings, I was like, hey, this isn't too bad. I tried thinking about incorporating different colors. I like this one, actually. The part I really liked about this exercise this week was that it was for me. You know, you don't lose yourself when you have a kid. You still are who you were before your kid. They're gonna be a lot happier if you're happy. I feel proud that I kept going. I really enjoyed each hour. Really just relaxing. Kind of got more creative with these and just went for it. I don't think I would have been able to do it on my own. We celebrated my dad's 70th birthday and I decided to give a piece to my dad. When my dad's blown away, he just doesn't say anything. He just looks at it and he just holds it up and he's like smiling for the camera and he put it up in his office immediately. If I could give this gift of a week of creativity to anyone, it would be my mom. She's a writer. I know that for a fact. I've been sneaking and reading her stuff since I was a kid. And I know she's been working on a book for most of her life. And if I could just give her the time and give her the push, I would say, now it's your turn. And I want you to feel the freedom that I've felt so far so that you can really grow into the creative person I know that you are because I think you're amazing. It got easier and easier and I got more confident as the days went on. Like I can still see my own little like weird lettering in the calligraphy, but I like it because it's mine. Even that person that thinks that they aren't creative and they can't be creative, can be creative. They would surprise themselves with the things that they would come back with. Mm -hmm.